Good morning, friends. This is Pastor Joe Palikatayal. I invite you to continue our meditation on building up another person or people around us. How are we doing it? How can we improve doing the kind of things Jesus wants us to do to build up the people around us? This is the 25th meditation. Today, let us focus in on one of the Beatitudes that is, Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. What does mercy mean? Mercifulness mean? The best example Jesus gave us is the Good Samaritan. When he saw the man beaten up, half dead, on the road, he had compassion, he had mercy on him, and he stopped. He went out of his way to take care of him, clean his wounds, and put him on his own donkey, and took him to the inn and took care of him there. And then he gave money to the innkeeper, to continue to take care of him until he gets well. That is an expression of mercifulness. That good Samaritan had not only mercy, mercifulness. Mercy is going out of our way to do good things for anyone and everyone, especially those who are struggling, those who are hurting. You know, in all around us today, tomorrow, every day we see people who are hurting inside. <coughs> Pardon me. They may not say, hey, we are hurting, help me. No, they may not say this, those words. But the Holy Spirit in us will show them to us. So say a good word to them. You look great. You are loud. Jesus loves you, and He will never give up on you. You are always with you. He is always with you. Words like that. An inner prayer, O oh Lord, this person may not realize that he is going through some terrible time, but his face demonstrates that. Please, Lord, reach out and touch him from the depth of his heart relieve him of the pain he's suffering. Sisters and brothers, the more we open up, open up ourselves to Jesus to receive his mercy, the more we will be able to give mercy to others. How do we receive mercy from Jesus? We do not deserve forgiveness. We are all sinners. Knowingly or unknowingly, we commit sin. We violate God's commandments. We go in our selfish way. We don't deserve mercy. We deserve only punishment. But Jesus died on the cross to pay the penalty of our sins, which we couldn't pay, but he paid it. That is the ultimate demonstration of mercy. Receive mercy from Him all the time, praising Him, thanking Him for the gift of mercy. The more we receive His mercy, the more that mercy will go out of us in our actions, in our words, thoughts, desires. Oh, sisters and brothers, let us, let us desire to be filled with mercy so that God's mercy will go out of us in words, thoughts, prayers, in every way. That is the way to build up people around us. All of us are hurting in one form or another. Some do not recognize that because they ignore that they need redemption, that they are sinners, that they need Jesus Christ. So what can we do? Pray for them and demonstrate the love of Jesus, the mercy of Jesus to them in our words and behaviors. 
will you join me in this prayer let us pray eternal father we thank you for your mercy that you demonstrated on the cross of your beloved son jesus christ thank you father for offering your one and only son as a sacrifice to pay the penalty of our sins lord jesus christ we glorify you we praise you for demonstrating god's mercy on your cross oh precious holy spirit enable us to receive the mercy from jesus and give that to everyone throughout this day throughout our life O oh, holy spirit continue to give us insight about the people around us and uh, bless us to give the love of jesus to everyone the mercy of jesus to everyone we ask this blessing father in the name of jesus amen <laughs>